Hey, what's up, everybody? Before I get started, I just want to give a quick shout out and say what's up to Dubs. Good looking out, homeboy, man. I really appreciate you and your channel. And real talk, the subscribers that you have, man, the motherfuckers show nothing but love over here on this channel. I really appreciate them also, you know what I'm saying? So it just shows what you're doing over there, man, is positive and, you know, good looking out. All right, so, you know, we're going to speak a little bit more on these politics and how the other car functions and shit like that. But, you know, honestly, I'm really trying to get past all that shit. One thing that y'all got to remember is that what I'm speaking on is my own personal experiences, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like people are getting too caught up in, you know, how the politics were in prison when I'm explaining these things or when I'm telling these stories. I think y'all missing the point, you know, and what I mean by that is basically, you know, for me personally, you know what I'm saying? I never really agreed with politics. It's something that I had to do. You know, when you got a life sentence, you know, I was serving 30 years to life. So you already can comprehend the fact that I'm never going to go home. That's what that means. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, that's going to be my life until I'm dead. You know what I'm saying? So when I was in that situation, I did what I had to do to survive. And I feel like that everybody that's in that situation is doing the same motherfucking thing. Because like I said, those politics were laid out before motherfuckers like me were even born. You know what I'm saying? I know it's hard for you to understand what I'm talking about, like exactly where I was. You know what I'm saying? Like this yard I was on, when I say it's level four, 180 design, you know what I'm saying? You're under the gunner the whole time. It means that we're in a secure environment where we're the worst of the fucking worst and they had to split us up into smaller groups so they can control us better, you know what I'm saying? Because we're the most violent. If you really want to get a better understanding on my situation being on a level 4 180 design down to a 270 design, then I would suggest that you check out what Wes Watson was talking about on level 4. He broke that shit down to a T. So if you want to know what it's like, where I was at and what I was looking at, you know what I'm saying, while I was serving 30 years to life, check out that video. He'll tell you, he'll break it all down to you on the levels of, of the different prisons and the yards, you know what I'm saying? So when I shared these stories with you, you know, it was my intention that you understand that motherfuckers in there are serious about that type shit. And, you know, it's not a place that I think you would want to be motherfuckers you know feel like they got to get in the comments and say well that's not how i would handle shit you know what i'm saying and if i was there it would be like this or you know just saying how you feel you gonna walk or ride up in there you know what i'm saying it's just i don't you know i don't know what to tell you bro real talk you know what i'm saying because i'm honestly telling you that you're gonna do whatever it takes to survive up in there, you know what I'm saying? So you're gonna follow the rules like everybody else, you know what I mean? Or you deal with the consequences. I'm not saying you're not a hard motherfucker and you can't, you know what I'm saying, stand up for yourself. But the whole reason why most of us are in prison is because of the fact that we thought we were trying to be men on the motherfucking streets, you know what I'm saying? That attitude is what basically got your motherfucking ass in that position in the first place, you know what I'm saying? real talk you know what i mean because me myself personally i didn't know how to be a man when i was growing up i was trying to figure out how to be a man you know what i'm saying i thought that you know when motherfuckers challenged me you know what i'm saying that i needed to step up and prove that i was a fucking man i thought i needed to you know what i'm saying get down with that motherfucker or i felt like if somebody disrespected me that i needed to go get a gun and I needed to come back and handle it that way, you know what I'm saying? I really just didn't know exactly how to be a man. I didn't have that father figure in my life, you know what I'm saying? And the majority of motherfuckers that are in prison, they'll tell you the same thing, you know what I mean? Like, you know, they didn't really have that father figure in their life or that's that somebody that they could look up to and tell them what was right and what was wrong, you know what I'm saying? And tell them what being a man is really about, you feel me? So, you know... All that shit, you know what I'm saying, that I'm speaking on is just my experiences, but my motherfucking stupid ass making stupid mistakes and thinking I was tough and acting stupid and acting a fool on the streets ended me up inside there with a life sentence, you know what I mean? And I wasn't never going to come home. I don't know how to else to explain that to y'all, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
I'm lucky and blessed to be sitting here right now and sharing these kind of stories with you. You know what I'm saying? I feel blessed every day. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's something that you'll understand if you really had everything that you loved and everything that you took for granted stripped from you. Once you go through some shit like that, you understand that's not how you want to live your fucking life. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm able to come back from that bullshit and be able to tell you about it and tell you what it's like on the other side, you know what I'm saying? Take that shit and look at it, you know what I'm saying, for what it truly is because, you know, it's not a motherfucking place to be. And another thing, one other dude, you know what I mean, he kind of came up with this concept that maybe, you know, I just don't want to play with the games. I don't want to go and deal with all that drama and all that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Why don't I just go ahead and PC up? You know what I mean? Like, I get that. You know what I'm saying? Do what you got to do. You know what I mean? It's however you want to do your time. You know what I'm saying? I was actually corrected on from my last video because I said that they was cool with the Chesters up in there. I guess they're not evidently they're not cool with the Chesters up in there. So when you think when you're talking about going to PC, they have their own set of rules in there now. They have their own gangs up in there now, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to escape whatever it is that, you know what I'm saying, you're trying to run from. But my advice to you regardless of anything, man, is not to go to prison. Stay the fuck out of trouble, you know what I'm saying? be a man on the streets you know what i mean you got nothing to prove to anybody in prison you feel me it's not the place to be you know what i mean i'm good with being out here with the squares you know what i mean i'm good with being called a square and being told that i'm not active i'm glad to be called all that you know what i'm saying because you don't understand what it's like to be stripped of everything and have to deal with that type of environment you know what i'm saying you have no idea, you know what I mean? So the shit I'm sharing with y'all, man, I apologize, man, that if it's like hurting people's feelings or if it's, you know what I'm saying, pumping motherfuckers up, you know what I mean? But that's not the intention of these videos. The intention of these videos is so you understand that we up in there are fighting amongst each other, but yet we have one fucking thing in common. One thing in common we have, and that is we are trapped in the system. Thank <laughs> you.